In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Power Automate flow attached to a model-driven app record. Now, I'm in one of the model-driven app, and this app is called as a World App. Now, it is simple. It's just a table which has fields like countries, capital account, contact, population, and denomination. Now, as you see over here, like if you make a selection to any of the record, you may require to run some action, run some flow. So how do you go ahead and do that? So if I select, say, some record, then I want to maybe send out an email. So what happens is like if you select any record, then what you can do from here in the options menu, there are like a lot of options you will see. Now here, one of the option is flow. So when you click on flow, here you'll see an option to create a flow or see your flows. I'll click on create a flow. So what it will do, it will open Microsoft Power Automate and then from within Power Automate, it will pick up the trigger template and then try to give you an authoring canvas to prepare a flow. Now, remember, this makes use of the Microsoft Dataverse legacy connector. So if you see over here, it says creates one or more actions to happen when records in the Microsoft Dataverse portal are selected. To use this flow, uh, uh, you select the record and you want to send this flow to go to the command bar at the top of the screen, select flows. So everything's set, connection is connected. Uh, if in case it, it asks for authentication, please do uh, authorize it. And then once you're done with it, click on continue. Now here, uh, I will just select the old designer. Now, if you see the first trigger, it says when a record is selected. So if you select that record, then uh, you can do some action. Now, environment by default is default and it has picked up the table name as world. What you need to do, click on new step and just say send email. Now, this will be a simple action. What this action will do, it will send out an email to myself. So I'll just write this. And I'll say this is uh, auto creation. So what we have done, we have automatically created this flow. We haven't authored the flow from start. We have just automatically created. We went into model driven app. And then from here, you went into this option, clicked on flow, and then created a flow from here. Right. And that's why I call it as auto creation flow. And this is some body text. OK, now I'll click on save. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the email and I'll just clear up my email box just to show you whether this action works or not. Right. So this is this flow is getting saved and this flow currently has a name as Microsoft Dataverse button. So we may need to call this something uh, which we can understand. So let me rename this flow and I'll call it as auto flow March 2024. So let's assume this is some name, auto flow March 2024. What it does, it just sends out an email with a subject line of auto creation flow. So flow is good. Now here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to refresh this screen. Now for this model driven app, which has a table worlds in it, if I go to flow over here, then I will, uh, I will, I should see one more flow uh, called as uh, what we named it. We named it as Auto Flow March 2024. Now, if you see over here, if I if I have just refreshed the screen, so I'll again click on refresh. I'll click on refresh from the browser bar as well as from the model driven app as well. So I've refreshed it completely. If you see in flow, you will see this option Auto Flow March. OK, so what you need to do, you need to say maybe first select some record. OK, you have selected one record. And now if you see the flow option here, you will see auto flow March. I'll just click on that and then it will ask you to authenticate. Now, this is just a one step process. It won't ask you every time. So this is just for the first time. If you trigger this flow, it will ask you to authentication. And once you authorize this, then it won't ask you in the future. But yes, if the credential changes or if the timeout happens, then it will definitely ask you again. 
Now you're just authorizing this flow. You're telling to run the flow and that's it. This flow will run. Now, if you see in the email, what should happen is like you have selected something. So if the flow runs, then it will send out an email and it says auto creation flow. So we can safely assume that this flow was run successfully. Now, two things have happened. Like what if I multiple will select multiple records and select this and click on flow. And if I click on auto flow March 2024, again, uh, it will ask you for uh, the authorization to run the flow. And if all the connections are authorized, then I can click on run the flow, click on done, and then I should receive email. Now I have received one, two, three, four email. So if you see over here, we have selected four records and that's why we have received this four email. So first we selected one record, we received one email, then we selected four and then I got four emails. So four instances of the email. So for all individual record, it has run. Now let's see what happens if I do not select anything and try to run this. It says missing record information and it will give you some error code. So in order for that flow to run, you need to have at least one selection, one or more. So if you have this one selected, then you can click on flow and then you can run this flow. So this opens a wide array of possibility whereby if you select a record in model driven app, you can do any action what is available within Microsoft Power Automate. So as you see over here, we have just selected one action to send out an email, but uh, you can do a lot of things which Microsoft Power Automate support. Now, the flow which we have created, we created from here, right? We went here, we clicked on flow and we clicked on create a flow. Now let's do the other way around and see whether if we create a flow in Power Automate, does this appear over here or not? So we'll name this as manual flow March 2024. So for that, what you need to do, you need to go into the correct environment, say I'm in the correct environment, Kirish Dev, and I'll create a new flow, which is basically an automated cloud flow. And I'll call it as manual uh, flow March 2024. Now here in the trigger, we will type in Dataverse. Now here, the Dataverse, remember, uh, we just need to find out when a row is modified, when a row is deleted, when a row is added. So we don't find that uh, trigger over here. Okay, so let me copy this and let me skip this and go to the old designer and try to find a trigger, Dataverse. And here select the legacy one. And here you'll see when a row is selected. So if I click on when a row is selected, here you need to select the environment. Now we are already in Girish Dev environment, so that's why you will get that default thing to be selected. And in the table name, you need to select the right table. In my case, it is world's table. So that's a world's table. And I will just name this as manual flow March 2024. And again, the same step, what we are going to do, we are going to send an email. Now this step, what we are doing is we are doing it from Power Automate. We are not making use of model driven app to create a flow, but we are creating it independently for Power Automate. We'll try to see whether this flow appears or not. So this is a manual flow and some or I'll click on save. Now, if this flow is saved, then we'll go back to the model driven app just to see whether this flow appears or not. So if I click on this three dot and if I click on flow, then you see there are like two flows. There's no manual flow over here. Let me refresh this. So let me select this off. Let me click on refresh and then see whether this appears and now it appears. So it's a manual flow March 2024. So now if we uh, click on manual flow March 2024, again, it will throw an error because nothing is selected. What you need to do is select at least one or more record, click on three dots, click on flow, and then click on manual flow. Now, 
Again, it does the same purpose. What we have done, we have just created the other way around. We have authored this in Power Automate independently, and then it automatically appeared in the model driven app. Unlike in the other case where we authored the flow right from model driven app and then authored it in Power Automate. So I'll click on continue, I'll click on run flow. Then ideally, I should receive an email so using the manual flow approach. So we'll try to see whether we have received, yes, I've received an email with the manual flow as a subject line. So that's how you basically uh, execute a Power Automate action or Power Automate flow within model driven app. So this, we have seen an example of selection. So if you select one record, then you can trigger a flow. If you select multiple record, multiple times the flow gets triggered. So if you select 100 records, 100 times this flow will run, passing this individual parameter for this flow. Now you can also pass on this values of that record into the flow, and then you can send out that in an email as well. So for that, what you need to do is like, if you have this flow created, you can actually see the dynamic value. So if you get a dynamic value from here, then here, there is an environment variable and then when a record is selected you can get all this value so if i get countries and then i can get capital so if i type in capital let me write this as countries and capital so you will exactly know uh, just by executing the flow that which record has been selected so this all information will be passed on to the email so let's give it a try. This is now saved. So if I go to say Portugal and Qatar, so if I select both this option, click on three dots, click on flow and click on manual flow. So now what should happen? I should receive an email with the subject line of manual uh, flow trigger and the parameter of countries and capital passed on to the flow from the model driven app to the power automate flow, which in turn will send out an email so i've sent this now as you see over here uh this flow ran for portugal capital lisbon this flow run for qatar doha so that's how you can pass on the parameter from model driven app power automate flow so that's it folks this is how you basically trigger a flow from model driven app and execute the power automate action thanks for watching